Welcome to Searching Baths. Thank you. Can you introduce yourself for me, please? Uh, yes, hello everyone. My name is Simon Inglis. I'm the editor of the Played in Britain series for English Heritage. Uh, we've been visiting old swimming baths like this around the country the last 10, 15 years. And so it's a, it's a great delight for me to be back in this building, which for years seemed like a lost cause. So you were last here how long ago? Well, outside the building, on and off over the last 20, 30 years, um, but actually physically last in the building maybe 20 years ago, something like that. And you've just been on a tour, so what do you make of it? I think it's fantastic. I mean, the, the, the best thing about it first, that it's retained in public ownership, because the people of Sturchley paid for this bath, with a little bit of help, of course, from the Cadbury's and Kings Norton District Council, but the fact of the matter, it's been a public building all its useful life, and it's great that it's remained that way. And fantastic that so many of the original features, I mean, we're just looking here at the original ticket booth here with the old ticket machine and some of the uh, glazed bricks, and I've noticed little details like this window here that have been beautifully kept. Uh, the swimming pool hall, uh, is, as the roof is having caved in many years ago, has been rebuilt. It's lovely to see the little details of where you can see down into the swimming pool below. I think that's absolutely fundamental. To explain to the new generation that, you know, for people uh, growing up in Edwardian Birmingham in the 1920s and 30s, this is where you came to have a bath. You probably didn't have a bath at home. And because you came to here have a bath and to wash yourself and to, to, to swim, it was a huge social centre. It was a magnet, just as much as the library, um, the town hall, the swimming baths was part and parcel of people's everyday life. Now, as you were going round, you mentioned a couple of times that you, you really didn't think this was going to happen. I didn't because of, of the recession, the crash, and, and because so many public buildings are lying uh, just redundant at the moment and mothballed. Um, one always fears that when you see the weeds, that's the real thing, when you see the weeds growing out of the stonework and you know how much it's going to cost to, to, to uh, refurbish not just the stonework, the fabric, but just to make the fabric watertight so that you can then plan to do something else. To go to those lengths, um, uh, at a time when, when so much pressure is on, on the public purse, it's a huge relief because you lose buildings like this and you lose part of the character and the story of the people around here. And you're feeling about it as a potential community, well as a community centre, as a place for people to come together in? Well, let's hope that it, it gets the public that it, that it deserves because there's some great build, great rooms in here, great facilities. I love the way you've got the modern and the old together. It works really well, the colour scheme, the light. It feels like a, a very refreshed, modern building, even though the fabric is, is over 100 years old. So I wish it all the best and say to the people of Sturchley, come in and use this place. It's here for you, as it was 100 years ago. Brilliant. Thank you so much for knocking on the door on the off chance and having a nose around. Thank you for letting me in.